YouTube, what up? Hey, uh, I just want to speak on, I just got done watching the Memphis Grizzlies and the Lakers game, and uh, it was a great game. I expected for Memphis to win, even though I, I'm gonna keep it all, I'm gonna keep it all the way honey with y'all. I was scared, I was nervous. Um, the Memphis had a very, very, a, a great game throughout the first three quarters, and a little bit of the fourth quarter, beginning of the fourth quarter, but towards, like for five minutes straight, them niggas ain't even score a field goal. And they, were, they had like a 20 point lead, like a 20 some point lead. And the Lakers was just chipping away, chipping away. Anthony Davis had a good game out there. He had like 30 and 18 or something like that. LeBron, he really have a good game. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's what AD is for. That's, that's exactly why they got AD. He's supposed to be taking the reins from LeBron. And this video is more so my problem with the Memphis Grizzlies, even though they played a fantastic game. We gotta keep the we gotta keep the motherfucking pressure on the motherfuckers, man. I mean, cause that shit was so irritating. Them niggas ain't score a single field goal in like five minutes. I swear to God, in the fourth quarter, bro. These niggas, I mean, I understand these niggas was tired cause they were playing hard, bro. That's what the conditioning is for. Now let's keep this shit all the way up being. Um, I don't know if y'all hear the game and that's the segment on uh Warriors game. Let me close that though real quick. So I just wanna and Desmond Bain had a, a great game. A great game, fantastic game. Uh, I think Bro had let's see, let's see here. Uh Ja had 31, 10, and 7. That's a great game. Desmond Bain, 33, 10, and 5. We needed every single point. Rebound from them two guys, but Desmond Bain really impressed me because he's a shooter, man. I know everybody like to make fun of him because he's he's like six six, but his his arms he he swole as fuck, but his arms his wingspan is so fucking short. People like to call him T Rex and shit. You know I'm off on Twitter being shit, but he's a solid player, man. And I like how he was attacking the rim because he's big as fuck. So if a nigga try to body him up, shit, they shit they gonna bounce right off of him. So. He was doing that, and he could shoot the fucking lights out whenever he's on. And I like how aggressive he be. I like it. Now, Jaron Jackson, man, now, y'all also forgetting that we're not even fully, the Memphis Grizz not even fully healthy, bro. They missing, Steven Adams is a very important player when it comes to that team. Brandon Clark is a very important piece. So the Lakers, technically, they all the way healthy. So they expected they are expected to win, you know what I'm saying? Just everybody that's gonna like the Memphis and shit. Motherfuckers stay talking about, uh, people like to bring up that Josh shit when he was like, we ain't worried about the West. And I wanna say something real quick. That was before the trade deadline, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker just be, motherfuckers just be posting shit and saying shit without no damn context. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that, but uh, let's look at now, Dylan Brooks, Oh my god, 3 for 15. Man, that nigga jump shot broke in a bitch, man. Like, shit, when he hitting, he hitting, and it's, it's well needed. But for the most part, man, that nigga, man. It's like when that nigga ain't hitting, he ain't hitting, man. He, shit, man. He out there just for defense, I guess, and to talk shit to get in niggas' heads. Because that nigga jump shot so damn broke. Stop playing with that staple. But uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., man, I love his game for the most part. I love his uh, his defensive IQ. He the defensive player of the year. But that nigga jump shot so fucking ugly and funky. Every time that nigga shoot that motherfucker, I be thinking that shit gonna, I think he gonna airball that bitch. Um, every, whenever he do make a three, whenever I see him in live TV or whatever, highlights or whatever, I don't think, I ain't never see that man. I ain't never seen that man just hit a swish jump shot from three. It's always kind of like hitting the rim or bouncing in. Like, that nigga jump shot is so crazy to me. I mean, that shit is so funky, man. Like, for real. But, uh, he had, uh, we'll see what he had. We'll see what he had. We'll see what he had. 5'11", 18 points. Yeah, he had a pretty solid game. 18 and 10, he had a solid game. Uh, Xavier Tillman, he stepped up a little bit. And them, hey, 46, number 46 for Memphis is straight up garbage. He don't need to touch the floor ever again. That nigga went hit shots. He went not trying to dribble the ball, bro. Like, that nigga was straight up doo doo. But, uh, Luke Kennard, he got hurt. I don't know how that nigga got hurt. 
I don't know how he barely ain't played. He, I think he shot the ball like three times and he got hurt and then his, uh, I think his shooting short because he left handed. So that's gonna be a big, uh, a big uh, lapse or whatever. But let me go back real quick. Okay, so man, Austin Reeves, he was doing good again. You know what I'm saying? To the Lakers. Uh, Hachimura, he had a solid game. He really ain't shoot the ball that much. He was only four for eight. Uh, let's look at LeBron. What LeBron? He had 15, but LeBron was jacking up them damn threes today, man. It was Brick City. But uh, really, cause he was tired. That nigga getting old and shit for real, for real. But my main is just the the end. The ending of the fourth quarter for Memphis, for me, for Memphis, man. That shit was irritating me so much. And uh, when this season is over, I hope they they're able to to win the next round. But uh, them niggas gonna have to get some more shooters and some more height. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, cause uh, and try to recruit some niggas, man. Cause shit, shit, them niggas, shit, they, man, they bench, man. They sh 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 some of them niggas ain't even touch the damn flow, my nigga. But uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the game. Like, comment, subscribe. I just want to kind of make, get my little two cents on there. I'm gonna react to the highlights probably tomorrow in the morning or whatever the case may be. But uh, y'all let me know who y'all. Do you think the legs gonna win? I honestly, I honestly think if we can take Game Six and we go to Game Seven, as Memphis, we can take that shit. We can win the series. But you know, Lakers, you know, Staples Center. I can still got that shit. Fuck the Cripper Arena. What the fuck that lame ass shit. Staples Center. This shit gonna be live. This shit gonna be lit. So if Memphis is able to win on that court, hey. We, we got the shit, but for the most part, we got a big challenge waiting for us, and uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel, man. Y'all really ain't saying shit. A lot of niggas ain't saying shit because the Memphis won and shit, man. They be talking all that goddamn shit when Memphis be losing and shit. But man, y'all niggas be so goddamn funny, man. But uh, I'm gonna fuck with y'all, man, on next video. If you want me to continue to talk about just basketball topics in general without uh, reactions, like the video. And uh, we can argue about whatever in the comments below. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. I'm out of here.